like a battle royale game and expect it to survive without it being uh, free to play. But all you do is you release a season pass on the first... If you release a BR with a season pass and it can literally cost 30 quid and people will buy it. If it's the first month or whatever, or the first season. So you can... Te technically, the game may be free to play, but most people are going to buy that. I mean, you only watch someone equal to you or larger than you. No, I don't believe so. I believe it's what you're into. Who's on at different times and stuff, you know? I flick in a lot of people's channels. Like, I'm in and out all the time. Like, I jump in and out of stream. There's it's, you know... I think... It just depends what you're doing. Maybe you chat less. It's, I think it's just independent on the person who watches what and does what. Twitch Turbo. Like, um... My most watched streams last year, I believe, were KP, Ben, Ice Cream Uploads. Things like that. Can I just say, I paid for the game from and free to play and I bought a load of G-Coin because I wanted to buy a hoodie. Aside from that, I've spent money on the G-Coin or pass. It's just what people do when they first get into the game, though. Is this guy still on the roof? Is there a way up? I can parkour up here, right? They all ran away? Yeah, I think that's more like watching mates and stuff. Like, you just watch who you used to watch in. But I don't think it's related to how successful you are at all. People just watch who they watch. Some sneaky people. There was someone up there as well, right? There's no way that was just that guy I heard. It's the red zone. The red! There's not much of my work I can do whilst watching list of streams. So it's only if I'm doing a bit of admin or on lunch usually. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty difficult. If you're editing, like, for me, if I'm editing a PUBG video, 
it's hard to have like other voices in that in the background and like other gunshots so i have to like mute whatever i'm doing while editing It's hard editing video um, uh, videos of Nacho in them whilst watching Nacho. Yeah, that probably probably is an issue. <laughs> Someone on my TV, how do you flush Nacho? No, you didn't flush me. I had an AED and I dropped it. I was playing solo. I was playing solo squads. You should have flushed me anyway. Get me out of the game. Always flush me. I would flush you. Guilty. You guys came out of nowhere on that game, though. I did not expect a team to... Did, did you guys kill the, the team above me, at least? Please tell me you killed them, too. I was waiting for him to push, and I couldn't get him to, like, push nicely. It was a bit of an effort. I don't even know what we're doing here. We've literally just been running around in circles. Um, we'll run towards that. They're pretty far. Prefer, um, I prefer the flush and hide the blue chip. <laughs> blue chips, yeah, and all 8x8 maps on um on Thursday. That is that is literally the update though. So I don't, you know, there's not gonna be too much to show. I think there might be some cakes which you can throw, maybe. I would flush me. SMG change is just an arcade, it's not a proper change. That said, they said that update wouldn't come out for months. The actual SMG change. Do you have a teammate or? Tell me he's not dead. I thought the Mutant was a killer. I thought the Mutant was a killer. Where did the other guy go? If I can just get a knock on one of these, we'll be okay. Did he run closer? The movement head is hurt. I haven't seen his teammate for a while. I'm going with a grazer push. Battle Queen. Yeah, I don't know where your teammate went. He seems to have left you, my friend. Obviously, that's a, a skill you have to learn, though, which can be difficult. Oh, PUBG timing.
You can take my kills. I'm not too bothered. What's the matter with you? Uh, Bowery Elm, uh, World of Warcraft? Nice. I like Bowery. I like Bowery Elm modes. I just like them. I thought I was going to have like a six times on this, and then I did, and I was like, oh. Okay. Hmm, lots of sniping. We did well that. Go out of that. VR's the most simple concept, survive to the end. It's just a night, isn't it? Like mostly like the 1v99 other players or whatever players is just nice. Being that last survivor. A lot of console players looking for a Tarkov like experience. It's difficult to make. I don't believe. I don't believe any of the AAA companies creating extraction shooter experiences are going to grab that Tarkov style. And the only reason I believe that is because they won't make the game hardcore enough. The only reason Tarkov is as popular as it is, is because it's a hardcore extraction shooter. Without that, extraction shooters are just a bit meh. Like, DMZ was okay, but I just didn't care about any of my loot. It's like, it's, it was Call of Duty. It was like, if I die, I can use any gun. I'm not too fast. So making a game where you care about loot is extremely difficult. I'm kind of stuck in the middle here. Everyone's got to push out of this building eventually, but... There's a lot of time left before that starts. I've not tried Battlefield 2024. Do they still have their DMZ kind of mode? Yeah, unfortunately, it just doesn't work, though. You can't, tur like, turning around your game and making it decent just doesn't work. Your game has to be like that on release. We're kind of just in a waiting game here. Nice one. Oh, the zone's finished up there. That's a bit disgusting. They did. I looked at chat. To be fair, he did choke that. Because that was a dirty turn on. And I should not have lived. We're okay here with how the zone we've got, to be fair. Spends how many of these are alive.
Tough zone here with this rock. Hmm. Was he watching someone here? He was... Who was he shooting at? Okay. GG. That's all I did, buddy. Everyone was cut. Everyone was shooting each other in the back. <laughs> Everyone was looking the wrong way at the end there. Thank you so much for watching today's video. But do you want to help support me even more for free? then all you have to do is use my creator code for PUBG. The creator code is a simple way to help support your favorite content creators when you purchase items in PUBG for free and they get a percentage. All you have to do is head over to accounts.pubg.com, log in or create an account. Once you've logged into your account, make sure your gaming platform is linked to your account, the PlayStation, Steam or Xbox account. Then all you have to do is head down to Creator Appreciation Program and type in the box Gaming Nacho and then click Submit. This helps support us huge, so thank you to every single person that uses our creator code. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you next time.